Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video, as you can see, is going to be a sort of part two video. The first part is me running through with you guys the new faith planner that I'm going to be using and comparing it to the old one that I had. And then part two will be an actual setup video. And then part three, which will be happening the following Monday, um, will most likely be like a weekly plan with me. I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but it's going to be like a three part video. So this first part, I'm going to be walking through with you guys this planner. Not sure if I did a full in-depth video. I think I kept saying that I was, but I never did because I already had my old one, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's this one, which was the Faith, Blessed, Love, Peace one that I got from Recollections. Uh, it was the 18-month planner. Of course, um, this was the old one. You guys have seen multiple videos of this planner. Um, just a quick inside look. I use this from 2018, so July 2018 up until March, I think. Yeah, up until March of 2020. Um, I had April set, didn't really do anything for April, if you guys can see. And then same thing with May, had it set, but didn't even really do it because I fell off. So, um, yeah, not going to be using this anymore. It's time to go. I've had it for two years. It's been well loved, as you can see, well loved, well planned, well written. Um, but it's time to move on to the new one. So I'm gonna quickly compare, um, show you guys the new one, compare it to the old one, and then we are going to just jump right in. But I am missing some stuff quickly, so let me just grab that. Okay. Just had to grab some important things from the old planner to have out but here it is again this is the recollections faith planner um it is from the recollections brand that you can find at michael's you can also get it on michaels.com i'm pretty sure you can probably find it on amazon but it might be on my leg um these planners are not expensive they're about 30 bucks i think yeah the price is not on here um but if i'm not mistaken they're normally about 29.99 or 19.99 around 20 30 bucks um but you can always get a coupon or use a deal of course with michael's you'll know it's the faith planner because they started um putting on these stickers that say faith planner um it's blue has a cross and it also says faith spiral planner this does come in two different editions you have your regular personal size as well as your mini the mini size is more of like a soap method kind of setup whereas the personal size is more of uh free writing um so i always keep the hard like cardboard piece on it for you guys to see so well this is focus for you guys here we go so um it's undated it is a ver vertical weekly setup and here is pretty much what you see on the inside and how they used it um and i mean it's pretty cool but I don't use it the way that they share it in the video. So I'm going to zoom you guys in real quick. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in and I took off the little information cards. But uh, real quick, what's on the inside of this planner is 256 pages, 289 stickers, a pocket folder, and a zip pocket. It includes monthly and weekly calendar pages, divider pages, pocket folders, zip pocket, and stickers for customizing your pages. So that's what, in what is included. And here is the cover of the new one i do need to take this sticker off i would love to take this off right now but i'm probably not going to be able to so this sticker will be removed but um it says find the beauty in all things prior to this one they had a pink and blue one which was really cute but i can't find that one anywhere so i think this is like the most recent one that they have out so if you can get it i would say do that but i cannot find these on their website right now um, so if your Michaels is open, I would say go check your local Michaels um, to see if you can find one of these planners because I find them very, very helpful. And I'll explain how I use mines and whatnot. But um, this is brand new, freshly used. I've had this now for about a year probably, <laughs> unused. So yeah, so when you open it up, um, watercolor on the inside of this, really simple. Here is your clear pocket, which I like. Um, clear zip pocket you can put little things in which is great very different from last year's last year's pocket was on the back let me quickly show you like i said i'm going to do comparisons as i'm flying through so 
here was the old one um you immediately had your cover with your title page the pocket was located in the back of the planner okay so it just says i can do all things through christ 18 month planner and you just put your name i'm probably going to decorate it like i did before moving on you have this scripture reading chart so i didn't really know how to utilize it last time like i left it blank <laughs> i completely left it blank but what i like is that they kept everything minimal in this new planner um from color scheme to font so the font was really bold in this one it, it was um script with purple and the lines were really light whereas in this one it is more muted neutral and um it is darker and up here it is very simple and minimalistic i am still debating on how i'm going to utilize this i'm not sure if i'm going to put like daily scriptures um that i want to remember like memorizing scriptures or if i want to just keep track of when i'm reading a certain book in the bible i'm not sure how i'm going to utilize this but before june begins i'll know okay um then you have this notes and thoughts section and then you dive into your stickers so the stickers from last year i don't have many of them left but i'll compare so these are the stickers from the other one that i was using um this one definitely had bolder font as well as brighter colors which i'm here for the colors but the colors are also hard to work with other colors um i love the font i wish these were a lot more neutral but i love the color scheme in this compared to this this is bright this is really warm and i like that okay so it's the first sheet um it's basically your flag stickers with your months to put because this is undated which i love next is this sheet here and here is the one from last year so the same sort of scheme going with it but um again changed up the colors gave a lot more trackers i did use my trackers um there are trackers on the old other sheet here but they definitely changed it up i still haven't used all these stickers i still will be using them but I, again i love the color scheme it's really girly yet muted at the same time this one says i can do all things through christ let your i mean let joy be your compass uh faith like a seed these are crosses this one says believe let me move that out the way for you guys um that says believe these are all habit trackers which i'm going to be utilizing a lot more these say thankful check marks um you are great believe way to go some blank uh circle stickers some blank star stickers and then this one says superstar some hexagons and some page flags oh can you see those no you can't <laughs> so you have your hexagons here and your page flags which you can use for any type of thing so then you go into your like event stickers um here are the old ones and here are the new ones again muted i think they are pretty much the same this world was all blank stickers same thing here um these all say pray for same thing here these say scripture study service project yeah so it says the same thing which is great so scripture service uh i'm sorry scripture study service project these are blank for you to fill in these are all pray for stickers church activity and then don't forget uh felt inspired and then choir practice which i really couldn't use choir practice before because my church we don't have a choir but i am a part of the praise and worship team now so i can utilize them uh, again i still have a lot of stickers from the last time because i really wasn't utilizing it in this planner because i'm not using it as like a daily planner it is solely a faith planner so these stickers will most likely come out and be used in my daily planner but um i like that they're also they look bigger or maybe it's because of the font i think the font is just a lot bigger because compared to this the font was really tiny this you can see so that's that and then if i'm not mistaken this is the last sheet yes yeah, so the last sheet pretty much the same with um your monthly stickers for the actual tabs um blank sticker a notes one and then you have your checks and stars more habits and then the prayer request stickers of course and then they say yay again but i like the font it's very much simplistic i like that so after that you have your folder this one says be still let me see where the folder was in this was it in the front or was it in the back yep the folder in this one was also in the back um with the zip pocket which i didn't really care for because i had to kept, keep flipping to the back of the book um i like that it is in the front and i already have my stuff to put in the front um but then you go into your first divider um so the problem that 
might arise is that the notes and thoughts section over here these notes and thoughts is actually like the dashboard to this divider so it does sort of kind of become a problem um if you are like a stickler for that for me personally i always take my stickers out like i rip the stickers out so the stickers will not be in the book um the folder will stay here so it's not that big of a deal for me but for some people it might i will be utilizing my dashboard um the way i utilize it in the old one which you'll see but um moving on here is the setup blank month i love it simplistic look compared to i guess i'll just show you may's calendar so here is May. Um, one side, first of all, you have this bright purple just going across the entire, the entire top of the page. And then you have this bright pink, like complete blank. I love it, right? And it's real simple. You know where to put the sticker for the month. Great. Your notes section was fine, but then you had this block down here that kind of like threw me off. Um, here, it's completely blank. Um, boxes look to still be the same size. I just, I, I like the simplicity of it right and then going into your weeks same kind of thing they made it more muted and simplistic same setup but the difference is on this side of the notes you had again that purple line that killed me you had this thick line of the green going across down in this section you had that color block here and on this side you had the same thing with the color block i like that they switched it up okay so the note section is dotted you guys can see that sorry note section is dotted great okay the font up there is muted it's subtle i love it they still have the daily verse they still have the scripture study which i always cover these up because why not like they i always cover them i i don't find a point to them i don't even understand the point actually let me see if i can see how they use it on here okay so on here they use the scripture study to i guess mark off what they read or how many times they read the bible i don't really know or I guess you could like mark off how hard it was from like one to five. I'm not sure how I'm going to utilize it. I'll think about it. Um, but I like that they switched everything around. So on the bottom. Can I get this in frame for you guys? So on this side you had the I'm grateful for. And then on this side you had your self-improvement goals. The new planner, it's reversed, which I think is smart to do that. So you have your goals section here with your boxes and the I'm grateful for section. And they both omit this block, which didn't really make sense to me. But um, I love the new planner. So now I'm just going to flip through so you guys can see. But um, you get five weeks of the same sort of setup. Okay. Five weeks. And then you go into your notes and thoughts, prayer request, um, and then your new month. So this is like the dashboard for the next month. So I'm just going to show you guys the dividers because everything else is the same. So here's the next divider. I like this color. The color scheme is really pretty with the greens. The next divider. This one says, let joy be your compass. I love how muted it is, but how girly it still can be and you can make these colors work for any season which is probably why i like this a lot more <laughs> on top of it being simplistic more simplistic than the other one I th if i'm not mistaken this is the serve symbol if i'm not mistaken <laughs> that's the symbol for serve this one is really pretty too this the next one Remember to always believe in good things to come. The next one. Faith moves mountains. Enjoy every moment. I think this is a herringbone design, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that is gorgeous. Believe. That's really pretty. The Lord is greater than the giant you face. That's a sermon if I heard one. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to the last divider, which is crosses. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, after this should be... No, okay. So, yeah, you get your five weeks, your note page, and then it ends. So, um, 
let me just quickly glance at my old dividers so i liked that the old dividers had a lot more to them but what i did also on my old dividers is i took a lot of my little stickers that were faith related that were clear and popped them over like the blank um one so i'll probably do that in the same one you'll see when i set it up but um it's pretty much a basic planner um for scripture writing scripture journaling i love it i think it's uh, an amazing planner like i said i have several videos using my old faith planner which i'll probably if i don't have a playlist you can click the eye to the playlist i just created <laughs> at the time of this going up but um i love this planner it's amazing it's simplistic and um Compared to the other ones, I think this works for me right now. Again, I probably will eventually pick up a Happy Planner Faith Planner. But um, for now, I really like the Recollections Faith Planner. It's simple. Um, the coil is really huge. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if Erin Condren sells a Faith Planner. Um, I haven't really looked into it because the only one, I, like I said, I've been enjoying is this one. I know that Happy Planner has one, so I may try one out eventually. And if Erin Condren has one, I'll also check it out because I used to love Erin Condren as well. But um, pretty much I am loving the recollections. I prefer the recollections. I will always recommend the recollections because it's a simple process. Um, and I didn't show you guys up close. But... Um, here it is you get your days of the week at the top so you can write it in or put stickers sometimes i put stickers you have your daily verse so sometimes depending on what i'm doing i will write out the actual verse for the day um like actually write the scripture and then put the verse here at the top i sometimes will cover it with sticker or washi tape and omit it um and then you do your scripture study like i said they use this i don't even know if they if they're using it to check off how many times they read or how hard it was depends i guess you would write your observations here if you pray today and then of course your goals which are like your weekly habits if you want or your goals for that week and then your i'm grateful for um and you know it really depends on what type of devotional i'm doing if i'm using it with the devotional if i'm using it for a bible reading plan on the holy bible app if i'm using it as i'm reading a christian related book it honestly all depends on um, how i feel and how the spirit leads me to write in it but i do make sure to write in it daily again let me just quickly show you guys in my old one um i'll show you guys at the beginning of the month so at the beginning of the month i literally was like using the monthly calendar to literally write out um videos uh notes to myself of things like i was i was doing studies and stuff like that decorating with stickers um this is when we had started the gospel of john bible study when we were doing the cling book club so this was like 2018 when i started everything um and then here is pretty much what i was doing i don't think anything on here is personal so yeah hopefully it's nothing like over the top but um yeah, so I would have like things I was praying for over here. I would put my weekly to do's concerning uh, DOI, things like that. Um, the things I'm grateful for, I would do for each day. These were the things that I was trying to keep a track of with my habits. You can't see that right there. Um, and again, I was writing out scriptures um, using stickers, right? And then putting bullet points. But this was July 2018, okay? Let's flip ahead if I have july 2019 so here's july 2019 decided to change it up a bit i was just using it to track when i was reading certain books um and uh again i hope this is not personal it doesn't look personal so yeah this is actually <laughs> when i messed up my toe <laughs> so um but i was in exodus and i was reading um, through it I think it was a app I was doing yeah I actually was doing the um, freedom sleep from slavery to freedom by Connie Lincoln said a uh, reading plan app the reading Bible plan on the Holy Bible app I'll leave all of them links down below but um, I would write down a scripture that stuck out to me from the passage and then write my notes um, I would take this space if I didn't have anything useful to put at the end of the week I would put a prayer here that I'm thankful for um, I was still putting the things that I was thankful for at the bottom in my um stuff like that but you guys can see this week i completely skipped um let's move ahead to 2020 2020 the beginning of 2020 i decided to then input everything that i was doing as far as like the things that i was going to be uh reading so i was doing the re uh the bible projects 
uh, Bible in a year, excuse me, my brain, <laughs> the Bible in a year, reading plan. So I was writing all that down. I was also doing another reading plan. So I was writing down what I had to read for that. And then any books that I read, I wrote down. So I was reading On Wings of Devotion and how long I read that for, for three days. Calling and Separation, how long I read that for, two days. Um, I read these two books. Like I was keeping track of that. Um, and then this section, that's when I really started falling off with using this bottom section a lot. I didn't really care, but I was still doing the top section of writing my scripture and things like that. So it's a lot. Um, things have definitely changed up how I'm used, how I'll be using it. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Do I recommend this planner? I do. I think it's amazing. If you can get your hands on it, I would suggest you definitely get your hands on the Recollections Faith Planner. It's amazing. I love it. But that is it. I'm going to stop rambling. All links will be down below. And I am now going to prepare to do a sort of setup plan with me type of video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in that video if you plan to watch it. But if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for rating, commenting, subscribing, and all that great stuff. And I'll see you later. Bye.